evening. Thank you for your presence here. Our qualifying, qualifying match against Latvia, as you know. Uh, we have our national team coach, John Butijic, and uh, one of our main players, Andres Kandri. I'll start with questions, please. Yeah. Can I ask a question for the coach and also for the player? How do you motivate your players, uh, knowing that the tournament uh, motivation is not very on the highest level, yes? But how do you motivate your players and what do you expect for, from tomorrow's match? Well, you motivate them like other teams do. Um, only two teams in our group are still with a chance to qualify. So it's the same for all the other four teams. Uh, we motivate ourselves uh, to do good performances for our country and to have a positive uh, performance and possibly a good result. Yeah, and uh, what's, an, uh, what's the uh, situation in the team? What's the, what's the atmosphere in the team at the moment? Well, the atmosphere is always positive. Uh, we look, we look uh, very eager to play tomorrow. Uh, we, um, and uh, we hope that we, we, will, we will have a good game. Thank you. I'm sure during your preparations for some other matches. In English, possibly, yes, please. Thanks. I'm sure that during your preparations for this game, we have seen the videos of Latvia games and studied your opponents. Um, what is your opinion of Latvia as a team? What are their main strengths? Their main strength is their team. They are a very strong team, especially physically. Um, but they have improved quite a lot, especially in the last two qualifying uh, groups, this one and the one before. They managed to get a lot of points and uh, it's very difficult to play against Latvia. They showed this against all teams in, in our group and especially in the last two games where they uh, managed to win away from home in Georgia and also get uh, another draw against Greece, one of the top teams uh, that will qualify for Euro 2012. Can you, if, I assume you have seen the, the video of the match we played against Latvia last year. What was the reaction of the players when you when they saw that basically Latvia compared to the chances they had, whereas we missed three or four great chances in the second half? They must have been very upset with themselves. Obviously, yes, as, uh, after that game. But after that game, uh, Latvia played other seven or eight matches. So we watched other matches, which Latvia did uh, very well. Uh, also in these matches, so it was uh, it's a completely different story from, from last year. How is uh, uh, forward Mifsud? Uh, is he uh, going to play tomorrow? Is he okay? Or, or? He is in Malta, so we are not there. Ah, he's not here. He, not he has a problem with his uh, tie, so we will, will miss this match. Andre, um, obviously your focus at the moment is on the national team. But your situation at club level, now that you have solved all the uncertainty you had, because of what happened with Bolo. Do you think it will help you for the next two games, maybe concentrate better? Yes, of course. Um, the last two national games, um, I was uh, a bit worried about my situation in Greece. Now that my um, that I have signed with this club, um, I'm settled and I'm fully concentrated on these two games. I don't have any more questions. Maybe a general comment from the coach also. How do you like the conditions, the pitch? Did you see the pitch? We did not go on the pitch yet, so okay. uh, we, did, we don't have an idea. It looks uh, quite a good pitch, but we'll have a look at it now. Is it the first time in Latvia for you? No, it's not the first time. <laughs> I've been here a long time. Do you the players, there are 18 players. Is everyone 100% fit? Uh, yes, yes. All players are fit. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.